Search is on for two teenagers in connection to a shooting that left a three-year-old dead. The shooting happened on Spring Valley Drive in Athens on Friday evening, killing three-year-old Chiron Zarco. Atlanta News First reporter Bridget Spencer is in Athens for us tonight, and she's in front of a growing memorial. The community out there, Bridget, is mourning this loss. Well, this memorial continues to grow each day. All day today, people have been dropping by and leaving some items to comfort the family. Police are still trying to figure out why the shooting happened at this home. Tonight, athens Clark County police are still searching for two suspects in the shooting death of three-year-old Chiron Zarco. The toddler was still inside his home when he was shot and killed Friday evening. Another child was shot as well, and an adult also hurt, but they were both expected to survive. Zarco's mother, Shanita Smith, too heartbroken to speak on camera, but she tells Atlanta News First she's planning a balloon release and vigil for Wednesday. I would get along well with the kids since, like, you know, kids are just like they're friendly and lovey. They were so kind and sweet. Joanna Carranza dropped off items at the makeshift memorial on Sunday. She knew the family in passing, but she says she will do all she can to support them. Well, we're a community here, and it's just like a neighborhood, so it's like no matter how well we know each other now at the end, we're like a community, so we have to support each other no matter what. Police arrested 17-year-old Julian Cabillos. Two others, 16-year-old Jaden Brown and 18-year-old Dakias Eccles, are still wanted. All are facing murder and gang-related charges. Meanwhile, Tiffany Hoy heard the gunshots Friday night. I thought they were firecrackers, the shots. I didn't know they were gunshots. She and her husband, Willie Ward, have lived in this neighborhood for 10 years. They say it's well past time to beef up on security. The police and office and stuff, they need to get real serious about this with these gunshots. Because, I mean, now somebody's baby is dead. I lost my son through the violence like that. And it's nothing harder than burying a child. And this is just senseless. As police work to make two more arrests, this community is wrapping their hands around the family as they deal with an unimaginable loss. There is now a reward for information that can help police track down those two other suspects. Shanita Smith tells me on top of losing her child, they also now are working on another place to live because a tree actually fell onto their home. So this family certainly is going through a lot of information about their fundraiser on AtlantaNewsFirst.com. Just click on this story. In Athens, Bridget Spencer, Atlanta News First.